Yo, what's up with y'all boys and girls, man? Hey, it's Jay Briggs here on a Tuesday, March 28th, 2023 with my NBA Jam session. Trying to smash it per usual, man. Off a good day yesterday. Want to keep that momentum rolling forward into today, man. If you're looking for more just great content, y'all know what to do. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And drop your like down in the comments. As you know, I love going through, seeing who y'all like, man. My best bets, they can be found over at Pig Dogs Premium. Just click that link in the description. It takes you right to my handicapper page. That's where you can find my long-term packages. Three-day, seven-day, 30-day, monthly, yearly, seasonal. You can also find all my bets for today's action, including my $15 NBA Jam Session play, man, which we have hit three of our last four on, including a winner last night with my Dallas Mavericks. Man, I had to take them yesterday, guys. I had to. Uh, they had to bounce back if they wanted a chance to continue to improve their seating to make the play-in tournament. We're on the outside looking in right now. It's really sad. It's kind of tragic, in my opinion. But yesterday was a bounce-back game they had to have. So it was my top play yesterday. They got it done. We go for four of our last five on that play today, man. You can scoop it up. 15 bucks. Link in the description. Also, follow me on Twitter at ParlayGodJ. And check out my live show. I'm live right here on the Pig Dogs YouTube channel every day, 3 Central, 4 Eastern, man. I bring on a guest as we run through the NBA card one more time, man. We try to update y'all on late injury news and information that came out of the association during the day, man. We cook up a parlay for y'all at the end as well, man. So come spend some time with your guy later on every day, 3 Central, 4 Eastern, man. Smaller card on a Tuesday, six games. It's not going to slow us down. Y'all know we're going to try to smash it per usual, man. So without further ado, man, let's make some money tonight. Let's try to keep this momentum rolling forward, and let's hop right into tonight's NBA action. All right, man, in our first matchup of the night, we got the Boston Celtics. They're out on the road facing the Washington Wizards. Celtics laying 11.5, total 224. The Celtics have been getting some really huge lines. And I understand it, man. They have actually been in that mode recently, man, as they have won four of their last five. And all four of those, they did in dominant fashion. Just took the San Antonio Spurs behind the woodshed in that last one, 137-93. to 93. That's an ass-kicking. They also beat up on the Pacers, 120-95. to 95. Their last road game, which they find themselves today, they beat up on the Kings, 132-109. Also beat up on Portland out on the road, 126-112. Celtics, man, they've kind of clicked it back in that mode just that quick, man, and they've been playing extremely great basketball. They only had one clunker in their last five. That was a road loss to the Jazz. The Jazz have been money in that spot all season as home underdogs, though, so really not that surprising. We've already seen the Celtics team beat up on the Wizards twice this season, 112-94 on the 30th of October, really early in the season, and 130-121 on the 27th of November. Uh, that one was in, both games were in Boston. This one's in Washington. But we just went through it. Boston is playing extremely great right now. Washington is doing the exact opposite. We said Boston has won four of their last five really dominantly. Well, the Wizards have lost four of their last five uh, in that same manner, man. They just got beat by 10 points out on the road by Toronto. They did beat the Spurs by 12, but, you know, that's the Spurs. Lost by four. 14 to the uh, Denver Nuggets at home. Lost by 10 on the road to the Orlando Magic. Got hammered at home by Sacramento, 132-118. You know, no Kuzma, no Bradley Beal. You know, this team's done, man. I, I haven't liked what I've seen from the Wizards. Um, I lean Celtics in this one. I think they keep it rolling. The Celtics do play the books on Thursday, so could be a possible look-ahead spot. But... Even still, I think the Celtics probably still roll this Washington Wizards team here tonight. Uh, they've been playing extremely great basketball, still pushing for that number one seed. I would not be surprised if they won this one by 20 plus. They could win it by 15 plus, in my opinion, and not even be trying that hard. I lean Celtics, laying the 11 and a half here in our first matchup of the day. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Cleveland Cavaliers out on the road facing the Atlanta Hawks, man. Cleveland's laying two, total 235. Hey, Cleveland, man, they've won four straight. Been playing really great basketball. Beat up on the Wizards at home, 117-94. Beat Brooklyn in back-to-back -back road games, 115-109 and 116-114. Just took the Houston Rockets behind the shed, 108-91. Uh, These two teams have kept it really competitive with each other this season as the season series is tied 1-1. This will be the final meeting between these two teams. The Cavs won the first meeting on the 21st of November 114 102 uh on the 21st of November and the Hawks won the second one in dominant fashion 136 119 on the 24th of February in Atlanta 
I don't think this one goes like that last one, but I do think the Hawks win this one at home again like they did in that last one. The Hawks, you know, this is a super average team is the Hawks. That's what I'll say. Uh, they've been right at 500 almost all season. The Hawks are really on like a win one, lose one type trend. It's not perfect, but that's what they've done. Over the last 30 games, this Hawks team has been exactly one game away from 500 for the last like 30 games. It's kind of crazy, meaning it is win one, lose one, but sometimes they lose two, win two, you know, so they can get above 500, right at 500 and one game above. But they've been in that exact same spot for like the last 30 games. I do think today is a Hawks type game. I had the Hawks in their last one against the Grizzlies on the money line at home. I thought the Grizzlies would continue struggling at home. It was a good spot for the Hawks to maybe end that little win one, lose one streak they were on. It didn't happen. The Grizzlies won now. When it was a close game though, 123, 119. Not a whole lot to go on in this game. I'm going to just be honest, man. I just got a gut feeling that the Hawks win this game on the money line. Injury report wise, the Hawks have the clearer injury report, the, the Cavs, Jared Allen, I'm saying doubtful for tonight. Um, I'm seeing Okoro on here is questionable. Dean Wade, questionable. Nito won't play. So, you know, the Cavs, they have won four straight, have been looking good here recently. But I think this game just means a little more to the Hawks. Currently in the eighth seed, one game under 500. I think we see an exerted effort from them on their home floor. And I think they win this one at home like they won the last one against Cleveland at home. I don't think it's in that same dominant fashion. But I do like them to win this one at home. Continue to stay on that win one, lose one trend that they've been on. I'm taking the Hawks on the money line at home here in this one. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got our favorite team to fade, the Miami Heat, man. They're out on the road facing the Toronto Raptors. Raptors laying three, total 219 and a half. I do like the Raps laying the three in this one. Um, I have no problem fading the Miami Heat. I know we absolutely love fading the Miami Heat over here on this program. The Miami Heat are the worst home cover team in the entire NBA, and they're also the worst cover team in the entire NBA. Man, we have absolutely no problem fading this team. It's our favorite thing to do, quite honestly. I like what I've seen from the Raptors at home here recently as well. The Raptors at home have been money. Um, they just beat up on Washington 114-104. Took the Pistons behind the shed, 118-97. They did have a home uh, loss, a head-scratcher loss to the Pacers, 118-114. That's the only one, though. Other than that, they beat up on Minnesota there, 122-107. They uh, beat up on the Thunder Buddies there, 128-111. Beat up on the Nuggets there as well, 125-110. The Raptors have been money at home to close out this season, and I don't think it... Uh, ends today they will be on the road a lot to close out their season with even more reason why i think they put more emphasis on this home game today one game under 500 they win this one today they're back at 500 they're right in the thick of things um i like the raptors in this one miami got hammered in their last game by the nets 129 100 we were all over the nets in that one the heat they're not as bad on the road as they are at home at home they're an automatic fade on the road not so much, but I do think this is another spot where we fade them. I have loved what I've seen from the Raptors recently um, on their home floor. I think they just continue to keep it rolling at home. I think the Heat will probably bounce back here eventually. Let's look at the Heat schedule, but I don't like the spot for the Heat in this one. I think the Raptors keep rolling. Let's look at the Heat schedule right quick. Uh, the Heat got the Raptors today. They got the Knicks tomorrow. Ooh. Then they got my Mavs at home. That's a fucking lock. <laughs> Mavs is a lock on Saturday. We got the Pist they got the Pistons. That's probably a dub. They got the Sixers. L. They got the Wizards. Dub. And they got the Magic. Dub. So they got they got three wins left this season due to Miami Heat. I think that's all. I don't like the spot for them today. On the front end of a back-to-back, -back too. They might catch the the Knicks tomorrow. I don't think so, though. We'll see how it shakes out. I got I want to see how this game ends today. But I like the Raptors. I think the Raptors keep it rolling at home. I love fading the Heat, man. I'm going to do so again in this one. Give me the Raps at home, laying the three. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Orlando Magic out on the road facing the Memphis Grizzlies. Memphis laying seven, total 231, man. Hey, let's call a spade a spade. This Memphis Grizzlies team is in that 
mode right now, man. They've won five straight, including a road win and cover in their last one, which this Grizzlies team never does, man. They they caught me in that when I did have the Hawks on the money line. The Grizzlies won that one 123-119 on the road. They never win and cover on the road, man, but they did in that one. Uh, they're also coming off four straight home wins. Um, you know, they've been dominant. They've won five straight. Beat up on Houston, 151-114. Uh, took them boys behind the shed in that one. They played them the game before that. Did not cover, though, 130-125. They did win it. Uh, beat my Mavs as well, 112-108. Beat up on Golden State, 133-119. We've already seen them beat up on this Magic team once this season, 123-115 on the 5th of January in Orlando. The Grizzlies are straight up the best home team in the NBA um, this season as they are 32-5 and straight up at home this season. ATS, they're actually pretty money as well, um, as they are 22-14-1 and one ATS on their home floor. That's one, two, three. That's fifth best right now in the NBA. Grizzlies go stupid dummy crazy on their home floor. All that said, in that same breath, man, this Magic team, look out, man. They've been hooping. If you haven't been paying attention, they've won four or five, including three straight at home. Beat up on Brooklyn, 119-106. Uh, beat the Knicks 111 106. Beat Washington 112 uh, to 122. I've liked what I've seen from them. Beat up on the Clips out on the road 113 108. You know, we go look at it, man. The, the Magic are our, a money road team, if you ain't know, man. The fourth best ATS road team in the league at 21 15 and 1. Have covered in 58.3% of their road games. I know the Grizzlies have been playing extremely well. They've won five straight, have looked really good, but. They're going to give me seven with the Magic. Uh, I'm going to grab those seven with the Magic. This is right in the Magic's wheelhouse right here, getting seven points as an underdog. This is where the Magic have feasted in all season, and I think they can keep this one competitive, if not win it outright. I still think the Grizzlies are due for a little regression. Uh, they have been playing really great basketball. I will give it to them. They have, but in that same breath, they really haven't been playing the greatest of competition. You know, John Morant back in the fold. I still think it's going to take some time to really see this team completely gel together. And I would not be surprised if today is the flat spot I've been searching for for this Grizzlies team. Do they go stupid dummy crazy on their home floor? Yes. Have we seen them drop at home before? Yes. Have, are the Magic playing great basketball right now? They are. They really are. And I would not be surprised if they kept this one within the number. I like the Magic plus the seven. Here in this one, man, I think they can keep this one close with the Grizzlies. Grizzlies probably go through the motions and win this one uh, by like two or three points. So magic plus a seven for me here in this. One. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Charlotte Hornets out on the road facing the Oklahoma City Thunder Buddies, the cover buddies, the best cover team in the entire NBA, our favorite money-making team. They're laying nine and a half in this one, man. Total 230. Interesting game, and I do see my guy Shaq Gillius Alexander as questionable for tonight's game, which is a huge piece in this one, especially if we're looking at laying nine and a half. Looking at the Hornets, man, they have been playing good basketball recently. They've won three of their last four with back-to-back -back wins over my Dallas Mavericks, man. That was a real head-scratcher for my Mavs. Hornets stepped up, won both, man. One at home, 110-104 as double-digit dogs, and on the road, 117-109 as double-digit dogs, so... They've been money here recently. Have the Hornets, man. They lost pretty good on the road to the Pelicans, 115-96, and beat the Pacers at home, 115-109, and got beat handily by Philadelphia at home, 121-182. What Hornets team is going to show up today is the million-dollar question. Is it the one we just seen play the Mavs look really good in back-to-back -back games, or is it going to be the one we seen on the road versus the Pelicans and against the Sixers? That's the million-dollar question. I'm going to say this. I think... It's probably more than one we've seen against the Sixers and the Pelicans. That's what I think. And I do lean Thunder laying the nine and a half. Probably won't fire this one up as of right now. I do want to see if my guy Shy Gillius Alexander plays. But I will say I do think he plays. The Thunder are too much of a crucial spot to have any room for error, man. Uh, one wrong move and they could be out of the play-in. And, uh, you know, that'd be it for their season. So I do think they put some emphasis on this one and win this game. Pretty comfortably, man. It's kind of crazy that Thunder are now a team that's laying nine and a half points. 
Uh, that's where we've rubbed this team to this point all season. I do think the line is justified. This is still a terrible Hornets team. Want to see if my guy Shea plays. If he plays, I'm on the Thunder, but he's laying the points. If he doesn't play and this line drops, I'll probably still bet the Thunder at the better number, as this is the cover buddies, the Thunder buddies, not the Shea Gillies Alexander buddies. Um, he's a huge piece. He's their best player. He's their all-star, a top-five scorer. I love that guy. You won't hear me talk no mess about him, but this is still a good team in the thunder without him and i do think when the line drops if he doesn't play when we get the better number the thunder will probably still be the play but i'm pretty sure he plays though I'm, i just had to put that in there just in case but i do think he plays and i do lean the thunder laying the nine and a half y'all know the drill though i'll be back later three central four eastern if anything does pop off we'll be able to talk about it then but lean for now we're taking our favorite money making team man the thunder buddies the cover buddies In our last and final matchup of the night, man, we got the New Orleans Pelicans out on the road facing the Golden State Warriors. Warriors are laying 8.5, total 234. There's a reason the Warriors are laying 8.5, and, and I am going to lay it here in this one. They probably win this one by 15+. plus. I really believe that. Have the Pelicans been playing great basketball recently? Yes, I'll give them some credit. They have won five straight. But in that same breath, I'm taking away a lot of that credit. They haven't played nobody, bro. This win streak is fool's gold. Um... Yeah, man, they probably get hammered today. This is still that same Pelicans team that was really struggling um, in the entire month of March. Yes, they have caught fire to end it, but they've played four of these five wins have been against five of the worst six teams in the NBA. Let's call a spade a spade, man. Um, they beat Houston, San Antonio, Charlotte, and Portland without their top four guys. Like, come on now. Um, and they're on a road back-to-back going into Golden State facing a pissed-off Warriors team that just lost his last home game. The Warriors team that is still the best home cover team in the league at 25-12-1 have covered in 67.6% of their home games. The most night and day team I've ever seen, man. I think they get back on track and beat up on this Pelicans team today. That's just how I see it, man. Um... That's just how I see it. The Warriors did beat up on them 108-99 in their last meeting in Golden State, uh, which was on the 3rd of March, 108-99. This one probably goes the same way, um, if not worse. I think the Warriors beat up on these boys today. It's a terrible spot for the Pelicans, a Pelicans team that is hooping right now. Have one five straight. They haven't played anybody, though. It's fool's gold, in my opinion. I also... Fandom-wise, want this Pelicans team to lose uh, as my Mavs need to creep back into that plan. Mavs look good yesterday. Uh, we need to keep that rolling so we can get back in. I think the Pelicans are due for some regression, man. They haven't played nobody, guys. I'm rolling with that. I firmly believe that bounce-back spot for the Warriors today on their home floor where they've been dominant all season. 30-8 and eight straight up at home are the Warriors, man. 25-12-1, the best home cover team in the entire NBA. I think they activate the Magnets again tonight in the rims in chase center they didn't look to be activated in that last one against the timberwolves that they did lose uh, they probably heard me talking about it a little too much man i think they activate the magnets in the rim today the warriors get to hitting everything at home like they always do and they probably win this one by double digits man i like the warriors laying the eight and a half in this one fading the pelicans uh, this fool's gold win, win streak they've been on and that's going to conclude today's episode on the jam session on march 28th 2023 man thank y'all for watching smash that like button for your guy man subscribe if you're new and drop y'all like down in the comments as you know i love going through seeing who y'all like man my best bets that can be found over at pig dogs premium just click that link in the description it takes you right to my handicapper page that's where you can find my long-term packages three day seven day 30 day monthly yearly seasonal you can also find all my bets for today's action man we got college hoops nba and hockey today so yeah man uh you can also find my 15 dollars nba jam session play in that link as well we have hit three of our last four including a winner last night with my dallas mavericks man i did take them as my favorite play on the board it was the best play yesterday they were gonna bounce back all that was transpiring they had to bounce back yesterday bro they had to uh on the outside looking in even still after that win yesterday they got to keep it pushing so We'll see if they can keep it rolling like I'm trying to keep it rolling. Uh, we're trying to hit four of our last five on that gym session play. You can scoop it up. 15 bucks. Link in the description. Follow me on Twitter at ParlayGuyJ. And check out my live show. I'm live right here on the Pig Dogs YouTube channel every day. Three Central, four Eastern as I run through the car one more time. Bring on a guest as well. We chop it up. Uh, cook up the NBA for y'all. Drop a parlay at the end. And try to update y'all on late injury news and information that came out of the association during that day man so come spend some time with me later on today man i will be live 
Let's make some money on a Tuesday, man. Let's keep this momentum rolling forward off of a good day yesterday, man. Y'all know we're going to try to smash today per usual. Let's make some money tonight, man. I'll see y'all later on the day. I'm out of here.